Chicken soup is often called Jewish penicillin, and it's not only for Jewish people. Many cultures all over the world have different forms of chicken soups and broths and a tradition of making it and giving it to people dealing with illness. And there is actual scientific proof as to why chicken soup works better than other hot liquids in fighting off viruses. But we don't need to go into neutrophil chemotaxis and amino acids. Though I love reading about science, I'm not a scientist myself. I am, however, an expert on deliciousness. And this soup is delicious. I've shared the making of the soup many times on here, and I'm sure I'll share it again, as I make it often for my family. I've been down with the flu, then bronchitis, for over a week now, and we've been slowly going through all the soups in my freezer. I woke up with a craving for this specific soup, which we were out of, so being very careful not to overdo it, I worked together with my daughter to make this giant pot of soup. Lots of vegetables go into this soup. Some chicken in a mesh cheesecloth soup bag for ease of removing, shredding, and returning to the soup later, and some fresh herbs, also in a bag. And then there's my secret, not-so-secret ingredient. The secret to a lot of my delicious soups and some other dishes that I cook. My homemade chicken stock. Made from a whole lot of chicken bones and just a few vegetables, it cooks all day. I keep it on hand in my freezer as a flavor base for so many things. I've shared the making of it on here a lot of times. If you scroll back and look for videos labeled chicken stock, you'll find instructions to make some of your own liquid gold.